Hey everyone, Justin from Gold Penguin here, and I'm back. It's been a while, been kind of busy, but uh, today I wanted to come in and show a really cool, a sticky menu, kind of sliding animated little option um, if you want to make a cool header on your website. Not really sure if that made sense, but um, <laughs> from the thumbnail, you, you know, you saw what it looked like. So to start off, I'm going to add a section to the page, and I'm going to change the background color just so that we could like see what's going on here. Um, the next thing that I'm going to be doing is adding a header builder. And we're going to take this and drag it above the section. This section, again, is just going to be to see what we're working on. Um, and yeah. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to take this menu and we're going to make it sticky. So we'll deal with this in a little bit, but that's kind of just sticky means, you know, we're going to keep it on the page no matter how far you scroll down. I'm actually going to change the size of this section to be absolutely massive just so that we could, you know, scroll down and mess around on the page. Um, but yeah, okay, so in your header, uh, you're normally going to want to have a, a logo. This would, you know, be your logo. Logo goes here. And then you're probably going to have a menu builder. That's just kind of like a typical thing to, to have up here. So as you scroll down on your page, you know, you're going to want to see this here. And so, yeah. So now what we'll do is we, we do have to add a little bit of CSS, kind of like code. Um, but it's not really that hard. So once we have this element, I'm going to go ahead and show, well, this is what the end product is going to look like. So it's going to go, you know, a little animate, little bounce. Um, but yeah. Okay. So I'm going to save this and refresh this page and you can see nothing is scrolling. So what we have to do is, uh, I'm actually just going to show what it looks like. So when you're up here, this is one element. When you scroll down even a little bit, this thing changes. You don't see anything, but like it's going to change in the background. You could see if we inspect it um, right here, how it keeps changing. If you look on the right, it goes from normal to sticky. So we want to change the sticky style. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to just copy the whole thing just, just to have it. Um, bear with me though, it's, it's not going to be as complicated as it looks right here. But when you scroll, um, you're going to have this style. So you want to take the style from when you scroll. You'll right click on this and hit inspect and it'll pop up. Oops, I clicked the wrong thing. But yeah, you're going to want to do it on the, the global header back here. I'm going to go back in here. Let me just add a little piece of text just so that we could we could read, could show what the code is. Um, so we're going to need this last, last thing over here called sticky styles. So it's BDE header builder dash dash sticky styles. Um, it might change. I don't really know, you know with every update that breakdance does, but uh, as of right now, that's what it is. Um, we're going to go back into our header builder and we're going to scroll down into the advanced settings and we're going to give it some custom CSS. So selector is what you are selecting. Um, it honestly should just be here by default, but if you type in selector, percentage, percentage, that's gonna say, hey, we're gonna edit whatever this, this block is or whatever we're, we're editing, which in this case is the header builder. So if I do selector dot background color, I'm pretty sure this will make it red. It does not make it red. Uh, oh, I'm, I apologize. <laughs> this is actually, um, what it would be is like this, because the selector, we can style it like CSS, and this is basically saying, hey, whatever's over here, make it red. But if we want to change something inside the selector, like in this case, we want to change that one little setting on the sticky scroll, we're going to do selector dot breakdance header sticky styles. Okay, so this is going to change whenever we scroll down, uh, we see something different. So in here, um, I've got my notes up over here. We want to translate this a little bit down. So we're going to want this to kind of float a little bit. So if we see, if we do a transform, oops, transform, um, and then we'll go to translate. And then what direction do you want to translate in? In this case, we're going to do Y and let's do, let's do 40 pixels. And you can see as, well, actually you can't really see it right now, but um, if we were to scroll down, we could see this goes down 40 pixels. Pretty cool. So now you can see we have this style that's getting edited, but this doesn't really do much to uh, our page. So we'll go back into this and let's keep adding some more things into here. So I'm a big fan of borders for some reason. So I'm going to go ahead and add a border radius of whatever you want. You could do 50 pixels. Um, you could do 100. Let's do 75. I'm also going to scroll down just so that we could see our live edits over here. Um, if I make this 100, actually we'll do 100. 100 looks nice. So yeah, now we've got a border onto the, the specific sticky scroll part. And I'm gonna add a transition just so that it's a little bit nicer of a, of a fade. And the last thing we'll do is I'm gonna scale this. So when you scroll down, I don't want the menu to be as big as this. I want it to look a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna take scale 
and it, when you scale something, oops, I keep forgetting this, you gotta do transform first. Um, when we scale something, we have to say by how much. So if we do 0.9, that's going to be, hey, let's scale this to be 90% um, of you know what it was before. What did I do wrong? Oh, I did not put a colon here, a semicolon. So yeah, once you do this, you can see that this is gonna shrink. Uh, you could make it slightly, you know, a little smaller, but now you have your styles for the sticky element. So you scroll down, you see this, but I'm not sure if you can notice there's something weird going on, but I'm gonna show what this looks like on this end. If we scroll down, looks beautiful as you scroll down, but when you scroll back up, um, it kind of like glitches out. If you see it kind of goes in between and, and it's open and closing, kind of weird. So now what we need to do is instead of taking the element of the sticky part, we're gonna take the um, element of the normal part. So again, copy this class. Um, I'm gonna paste this, actually I'll just replace it right here. And we can see that we need to change the BDE header builder sticky scroll slide. So I'm gonna go back into the header builder, open this back up, and now we need to add another style for this specific selector, which is going to be the default, um, what's shown you know, by default. So we'll paste this here, same kind of thing. And the only thing that I'm going to be doing here is adding a transition back at 0.5 seconds. And this should ease what these animations look like as you go in and out. You see it kind of fades it back to normal, it makes it pretty smooth. And this will work on mobile, on anything, just like this. So we're going to scroll down and we can see this. Um, if you do want to change anything, like the, I, I think some people would definitely want it to be a bit more uh, down on the page. You could do like 80, per, 80 pixels. Um, that's definitely going to have it go. Oops, I don't think it refreshed yet. Oh, I'm not really sure what's going on, but um, like however far you want it to go down, you know, you could do that. And it will go down like that. And so this is going to stay with you anywhere that you go on the page. You could change custom settings for when it does scroll, like we could do... Um, background color to gray, which is when you scroll, it's going to fade to gray. Um, we could also do, and I think it's, I'm not really sure the, I think it's opacity. I don't think this is going to work, but it'd be pretty cool if it did. Oh, it does work. That's crazy. Um, so yeah, you could also fade that out if you want to keep the same colors, but you just kind of want it to be a little bit more transparent. You could do something like that. Um, and then when they scroll back up all the way to the top, you're going to have this. So yeah, this was pretty much it. Um, I'll keep this at 90% when you scroll down so you can see most things. Um, and then I would honestly just add kind of that, that uh, margin, which is what that translate should do. But if we add a margin on top of, let's say, 40 pixels, then it's going to scroll down like this when you go down. So just like that on your page. I think it looks pretty cool. I could see this being used for some kind of one pager on a website. Pretty simple, pretty easy to do. And then you can go ahead and add all your content down here, like a normal page. You see it kind of fits right on the background. We could even do something cool. If I take this section and duplicate it, change the background color to another color. And we'll go in here. And we should see, yep, it just keeps going. It just stays on whatever we put it on. So pretty cool. Hope this helped. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more breakdance co content. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions and or tutorial ideas, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks.